Today we are making black eyed peas, pork shoulder, and some sauteed cabbage for our New Year's feast. So the first thing we want to do is we want to take our dried black eyed peas and we want to soak them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put them in a bowl. We're gonna put enough water to cover them. You do wanna check through them and make sure that you don't have any kind of rocks or other things that are in here or maybe some beans that just don't look good. This is a pretty good brand. We usually don't have too much trouble with it, so that's why I choose this brand. Nice, small black-eyed peas, and that's what we like. So we want to soak them in water. I'm gonna put just enough water just to cover the beans and we're gonna let them soak up all that water. It's about three cups of water that I've added to the beans and we're just gonna let them hang out here and soak. And you'll see when we come back, they're going to be swollen and they will have taken in some of that water. This helps us to cook the beans faster. Our beans have been soaking for about an hour and you can see they've soaked up most of the water in the bowl. Now we're gonna move over to the range and I'm gonna show you what we do with the beans over there. Once the beans have soaked for about an hour, we're gonna drain the water. I didn't rinse the beans, I just drained the water off of them. And we're gonna sit them to the side. We're gonna go ahead and get our pot ready. I'm gonna turn it on high heat we're going to put some olive oil in the bottom and we're going to add our onions and we're going to saute these onions for about a minute till they start to cook and then we're going to add everything else to the pot. Once our onions have started to to sizzle a little bit. They're just starting to cook. We're gonna go ahead and start adding everything else to the pot because this is gonna be a slow cook. It's gonna take at least an hour to cook our beans. So we're gonna have time to get all this cooked down. It's adding flavor to the pot and that's what we always wanna do. So the next thing we're gonna add to the pot that adds also a lot of flavor is our ham bone that we saved from our Christmas ham. I left a little bit of the meat on here but definitely you want that bone. There's a little bit of the skin also. I put this in the freezer to save it from Christmas and then I took it back out so that I could use it for the beans. So that's gonna go in next. That's gonna add lots of flavor to our beans and it came from the ham that we already had so we made sure to save that. Now if you don't have that, you could also use a smoked ham hock or any other kind of meat that you'd like to flavor it with. Pork always does the best. We're going to put our black eyed peas in and then we're going to add chicken broth. Now I know we have pork in there and we're cooking beans, but the chicken broth is going to add so much extra flavor. Since we soaked our beans, they're going to cook pretty quickly, like I said, about an hour for them to cook through. And this is for our New Year's and we're having these for good luck for the year. We wanna make sure our beans are full of flavor. We're not gonna add any extra salt right now. We will taste it right at the end, but remember the ham has salt, the broth has salt, so we probably won't need that much extra salt. I am gonna add a little bit of the secret seasoning while it's cooking. I'll sprinkle that right on the top, and I'll stir that in. You can be kind of liberal with the secret seasoning because it doesn't have any added salt or pepper in there. If you're interested in the secret seasoning, you can always get it at chefdannycooks.com. And we're gonna go ahead and add a little pepper because we don't have any pepper added to the pot at this moment. Now we're gonna put the lid on our pot. We're gonna leave just a little bit of an opening and we're gonna let those beans cook down for about an hour. Our beans are just about done, so while our beans are finishing up, I'm going to go ahead and saute the cabbage. So I like to do this a really easy way, and it only takes a few minutes to get it sauteed. I like the cabbage to still be a little bit crunchy. So we're gonna start out in our pan. I have some olive oil, and we heated that up, and we're gonna go ahead and add the onions and the cabbage. We're gonna let them start to cook down. 
I've just cut the cabbage into some strips. It's going to cook down kind of like spinach does. It looks like a lot, but it cooks down in the pan. All right, it looks like we've way overcrowded our pan, but it's going to be okay, I promise. We're going to go ahead and put some pepper on there. Always fresh ground pepper. And we're going to do some of the secret seasoning as well. You can order the secret seasoning from ChefDannyCooks.com if you don't have any. We'd be happy to get you some sent out in the mail. Okay, once this starts to cook down and our pan gets really, really hot, then I'm going to add one more thing to the pan, and that's all, really all I season my cabbage with. But while that's cooking down, I'm going to show you another video of how I put together the pork shoulder for our meal as well. All right, once the cabbage really starts to sizzle, you'll see it start to cook on the bottom. What we're going to use to cook it down with is something I use anytime we're doing like a saute or a stir fry, and that is just some soy sauce. Now, I use the full salt soy sauce, but you can use the low sodium if you'd like. We didn't add any salt to this dish, so this is going to be the salt for the dish. I'm just going to put that all over the cabbage. Not too much because we don't want it to be soggy. We want the cabbage to be kind of crunchy. And then I'll get that stirred around. And then after about five minutes in the pan cooking, our cabbage is going to be done. All right, our cabbage has been cooking down and it's ready. It's cooked down, but we still have crunchy bits in the cabbage. Now the last thing that we have to do is pull apart the meat on our pork shoulder when it's tender and done. Then we will have our sauteed cabbage, our black eyed peas, and our pulled pork for our fabulous New Year's dinner. Our meat's been cooking for about eight hours in a slow cooker. You can use a roaster or you can use a crock pot. And now what you want to do is pull the meat off of the bone. And it should come off really easily. This top layer here is a big layer of fat. That added a lot of flavor, but you probably don't want that into your sandwiches or on your meal that you're going to have. But the rest of this will pull apart really easily. Once we get all of the meat pulled off the bone, you're going to see that there's a shoulder bone in there. Um, and this, there, it's actually a shoulder roast. That's the bone right there. We're going to take that out. And you want to pull the meat into little shreds if you can. It's, once you get the meat all broke up into small pieces, then we want to add some barbecue sauce or the sauce of your choice. We're going to serve this over rice, but you could also make a sandwich out of this. So it just depends on how you want it. And maybe you want rice today and maybe a sandwich tomorrow because you're going to have a lot of this meat left. One roast goes a really long way. Our meal is done and we're going to plate everything and I like to plate it kind of all together so I like to put the rice right in the center of the plate. You want to have a nice shape to the rice just to make it look good. We're going to go ahead and put some of our beans on top of that. We're going to pour our beans right over the top. Then we're going to add our cabbage on the other side and then we're going to add just a little bit of our pork the other side because you need pork for luck also for the new year. So there is our plate of good luck for our new year's meal. If you like this video, you'll probably like my other videos. So make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll get all the notifications when we have a new video. Thanks for watching.